Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the dev channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 24H2, build 26120.2130, KB5044400. So, without further ado, let's begin. On the Start menu, the All Apps button is now just All. Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard in Windows 11 that supports the ability to use your Xbox controller to navigate and type. This includes button accelerators. Additionally, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. Microsoft has added a new shortcut, Narrator Key Plus Control Plus X, to copy what the narrator last spoke to the clipboard. It follows the pattern of using Narrator Key Plus X, which repeats the last spoken phrase out loud, and is a good way to memorize similar shortcuts. You can use these shortcuts to review and copy what the narrator spoke. It is useful in cases where you want to quickly copy some content, descriptions, or codes for use. The narrator will now auto-read contents of a mail in the new Outlook app similar to the behavior in Outlook Classic. If you use the NetSH LAN Show Networks command, you should be able to read SSIDs that are UTF-8 encoded. This means that Wi-Fi SSIDs with Unicode characters should be properly displayed in NetSH output. There are some fixes in this update like Fixed an issue in which when you lock your PC, after waking the PC from sleep, the login screen contents wouldn't load and you couldn't sign back in. Fixed an underlying issue which could lead to clipboard history not displaying items you had copied. An issue where you had multiple windows open for an app on your taskbar, pressing windows plus tab multiple times wasn't cycling between the windows. Fixed an issue where narrator would add an additional announcement contain style, whenever its focus is on text that is styling attributes such as, bullets and numbers, across applications such as Microsoft Edge. Teams, Outlook, etc. Fixed an issue where a few dialogues in Narrator were not adopting the 200% text scaling setting in Windows. Fixed an issue causing live captions to crash for some people in the previous flight when you tried to use it. An issue causing Mica to not work correctly, when using a slideshow for your desktop background. There are some known issues in this update like. Microsoft is investigating reports that Explorer.exe is crashing for some insiders, when hovering over certain open apps in the taskbar. If you click or tap on a letter on Start Menu's All Apps list, the All Apps list may break. If you encounter this issue, please try rebooting or restarting Explorer.exe to fix it. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.